Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the Microsoft Excel to run the descriptive statistics, the correlation analysis, and the regression analysis. Let's say we are given the following data. Okay, as you can see here, we do have three independent variables here. Okay, so the first one is the age, second one is the distance between the house and also the office, and then the third one will be the income. And then last will be the dependent variable, which is the daily expenses of the respondent here. So in this data set, we're going to have 17 respondents. Okay, so as you can see here, the first respondent is the age is 30, and then the distance between the houses and also the office will be 6 km, and then the income is only 2.2k, indirectly we say 2,200, and the daily expenses will be 63 ringgit Malaysia. Then next, let's see how can we find out the mean median and mod of the age or the distance or the income or the expenses here so what we need to do here is we click the data and we select data analysis then after that there will be some option appear here so make sure you choose descriptive statistic and then click ok so for the input range here okay this is the column okay this is the spaces where you have to fill in the selection of your data. Let's say I'm planning to find the descriptive statistic for the age here. And you have to tick on the output range and remember to click on the blank cell here. And you can choose any blank cell that you like so that you can put your answer here. So let's say I put at the G2 here. Okay, then I choose OK. All right, and here they remind us to choose at least one of these. So I'm going to choose summary statistic. And I choose OK. And this is the descriptive statistic for the age. As we can see here, the mean or the average age is 27.17. And then the standard error is 0 0.509. And then the median is 27. The mod is 29. So this is how we can get the descriptive statistic for a particular variable easily. OK. So next, let's take a look on how to find and how to conduct the correlation analysis between the variable. So let's say we are interested to know what is the correlation between the three different independent variables here. This is what we can do. We can choose the data again, and then we go to data analysis. And make sure you choose correlation over here, and then click OK. And this is how you can input, this is how you can include all the variable you plan to test. Let's say I plan to test the correlation between these three variables. Okay, after I select all of these three variables, then I have to click my output range and I have to select the blank cell here. Again, I have to select where do I want to put my result. So let's say I plan to put my result in the G3 here. So this is the result. Okay, so over here, you may copy and paste and then put it here. And for this part, you may copy and paste as well. So you can see the a correlation between the variable easily. So for example, the first one, 0 0.243, this is a correlation between the age and also the distance. So the 0 0.24 here simply uh, indicate a weak correlation in between the age and also the distance, even though they are positive. And other than that, we can also notice that the age and also the income, the correlation is considered weak as well because it's uh, only 0 0.1995 okay but however uh, we can see that the correlation between the distance and also the income is negative so this simply means that when the distance is getting higher and higher the income will be getting lower and lower but however the correlation here is not really strong okay because it's very close to zero instead of one okay so this indicate a weak Relate, uh, correlation between the distance and also the income. So next, we're going to I'm going to show you on how to find or how to conduct the regression analysis. So first, you have to choose data, and then you go to data analysis, and then you choose regression. Okay, then click OK. So over here, they want you to input the y range. Yeah? So the y is referring to the dependent variable here. So over here, we only have one dependent variable. And then the independent variable is referring to another three independent variable here. And then we tick for confidence level. Okay, this one you can 
you can change it to 90 or you can change it to 99% but over here I would like to choose 95% and then I click the output range as well and then click on the blank cell here and then click on this and we can click OK and this is the answer okay and this is the result of the regression analysis so as simple as this okay so that's all for the video today and thank you for watching see you in the next video bye